Ladies, ladies, I'm here on the shield, I'm here on the shield to talk about some NBA. And we're going to go over some news about the NBA. Probably in the next video, I'm going to recap the Kentucky game from last night in a little bit. want to get my NBA news in, then I'll talk about some NFL. A lot of NBA stuff I want to talk about that I haven't covered the last two days, so I want to get right into it. I report executives... A uh, rival executive, well, in the articles that did on the NBA thing, NBA Central on Twitter says, executives expect the Lakers to ride it out for a while, just stick with the core they have right now, with the players they have on the uh, team right now, until maybe the trade deadline, where they can maybe make some moves for, like, some players reported, like, Josh Richardson, Terry Rozier, which guards that they really don't need another guard, but Rob Plink and the Lakers think they need another undersized guard on that team. I don't know why. They don't have to, they don't go after somebody else. But hey. But the executives expect them to ride it out for a while. Just keep LeBron, A D, none, the team they have right now. And they don't expect them to make any moves at least for now. But I could but I can see them sometime maybe making a move for a player like Terry Rozier or Josh Richardson or Doug McDermott. Try and get one of those players. Out of those options, they might as well try and get Doug McDermott because they don't really have any use for Josh Richardson or Terry Rozier. They don't, they don't need another undersized guard. They need get a good young uh, wing player or something, or at least try to. You know, if they're trying to get Miles Turner, a good rim-protecting center, get Buddy Hill can help you shoot that three-pointer and get you better shooting. Like, try and get some of those players. That's what I would do if I'm the, if I'm the Lakers. Uh, another report, the, Mo the Milwaukee Bucks are the most likely team to lay in Jay Crowder. There's been a bunch of tra Jay Crowder talks, uh, some trades. Some teams like the Bucks, the Knicks, um, are linked. As, and some other teams are interested as well. That would be a good addition to the Milwaukee bench there. Get some more depth there with Jay Crowder. Um... Go to NBA.com's uh, top 10 MVP ladder. Um, number one, they have Luka Doncic. I think he's definitely the, Maver the MVP because they lost to the Rockets without... Um, uh, Luca, it's clear. He's their their best their best player, the MVP. So, for people saying, "Oh, Jason Tatum is better," it's clear Luca is much more valuable to the team. Um, Jason Tatum's number two. Uh, Giannis is three, Jokic is four, John Morant's five, Joel Embiid's six, SGA seven, Devin Booker eight, Donovan Mitchell nine, Steph Curry at ten. Steph Curry's only at number ten because of the team's record. If they can actually start winning games, he'll definitely go up. If the team can start playing better and he can keep putting up these great performances, he can easily be up there in the MVP conversation. But if they keep losing, he puts up those numbers. He's not going to be up there, but. I have faith in the Warriors turn around. Steph Curry will keep putting up these crazy performances. And he'll be up there sooner or later. Ben Simmons, after last night's 15 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, 100% field goal performance. I'm coming. I'm getting there. Ayo, Ben Simmons. But for real, he had a good game last night. Nearly triple-double. Made all six of his shots. He played really well. So, credit to him. Uh, LeBron James said this on uh, the shop, on the Thursday night football thing where they had guests on there. Um, he said this about Aaron Rodgers. If you have a transcendent franchise player like Aaron Rodgers, why won't you surround that when you've got the picks to maximize what you do, LeBron? I mean, I agree with this here. I mean, if you have a transcendent franchise quarterback like Aaron Rodgers right there, why would you let go of Devontae Adams in the franchise and the and for the picks you have in the draft, first, second round picks, you spend them on defensive players, you spend it on Jordan Love when you could get a receiver, and people really thought Amari Rogers was gonna make a difference and he just got released, by the way. So 
This is kind of NBA slash NFL related. But yeah, um, that was LeBron on uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Chauncey Billups on the Brooklyn Nets drama. It makes me thankful for a team, to be honest with you. Yeah, it makes every coach uh, thankful for their team. That they're not a uh, part of the Brooklyn Nets drama, as we know with Kyrie, the suspension, just too much drama, so much drama going on there. Uh, report: Terry Rozier has fans inside the Lakers organization. <clears throat> Rob Palenka. That's just what the Lakers need: another undersized guard. The Lakers just love their undersized guards. I mean, they already have like what six on the roster. Just make it seven straight for Terry Rozier. Just, ugh, just trash, man. Uh, NBA Insider doesn't think LeBron's game is pretty like Michael, Michael Jordan's, Kobe's, or Steph's. LeBron is like Carmelo Malone with point guard skills. I think Chris Broussard said this. I think this is bad take. Like, he's not Carmelo Malone with point guard skills. Is his game the prettiest? No. But it's a, it was effective until he these last few years where he's aged. But is his game pretty like the other three? No, but it's still effective. I mean, I don't base basketball off uh, people's like, skills. It's on production, what you produce on the floor. You don't have to be the most athletic. I mean, Yoka just proved that last two years, won back-to-back -back MVPs. Luka's not the most athletic, but he still puts up really good seasons in, the, in his MVP conversations. So, Chris Broussard just trash. Uh, De'Aaron Fox has a plan on requesting a trade out of Sacramento per at Mark J. Spears. I don't know why he wouldn't request a trade out of Sacramento as they've won like four or five straight games and he's put up great numbers and and they have a really good young team right there in Sacramento. So I don't know why I don't know why it's needed to be said they wouldn't request a, request a trade. Kendrick Perkins blasts Bam out of bio. Or you know, where the hell is Bam out of bio? I'm trying to figure out where does Bam stand. I kind of see him playing the same role as a Clint Capella as far as his impact on the game. Clearly, Kendrick Perkins has not watched the fourth quarter of the Heat games this year. As Bam is their leading scorer in the fourth quarter, playing defense, playing defense player of the year top level defense. Top five in fourth quarter scoring. I don't know where where the hell he's getting this comparing him to the role he plays as Clint Capella when he's much a much better defender than Clint Capella. Better scorer. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Steph Curry, he's averaging 32.8 points per game with a 70.1 true shooting percentage. His team needs to step it up because he's put up insane numbers. Rest of, and, the, and if the rest of his team steps it up, he'd easily be in top three in MVP conversations. He just, they just need Clay Thompson to play a bit better. Jordan Poole shoot a bit better. Like... Now, the Hornets could entertain the possibility of trading forward P.J. Washington per at Sean Devaney. They could trade P.J. Washington. I see it happening. Uh, more news. Um, the Dallas Mavericks and Miami Heat are among teams that could potentially target Gordon Hayward per at, per at Sean Devaney. The Hornets, um, they might be looking to sell here because they could trade P.J. Washington. They could trade Gordon Hayward, get these two players on the Try and maybe get some good pieces back. We'll see. Isaiah Thomas says Kobe Bryant's the best player he's ever seen. Nobody comes close. Uh, not the Pistons, Isaiah Thomas. The the midget, Isaiah Thomas. I mean, it's objective. Who y'all think's the best player ever? I mean, it's, it's really just an opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. Unless you say LeBron James. Steve Kerr says the Warriors have a target on their back. Everyone can't wait to play us and kick our ass. That's kind of a loser mentality. Because that's the thing for every champion. Every champion's going to have a target on their back. Everybody's going to want to play them. It's just the Warriors are just in a slump right now, but I, feel, but I feel like they'll be fine. I don't think they're going to play this bad on the road all season. Anthony Edwards has passed Rudy Gobert the ball four of 125 times in pick and roll situations. Anthony Edwards is just a ball hog, man. Like Rudy Gobert rolls off the pick and roll, and he just doesn't pass him the ball. I think that happened with Donovan Mitchell, too, where I'll pick and roll he went past the ball, so. Uh, Ron Parker says LeBron James is not a top 10 Laker of all time. I'm not trying to take the championship away, 
championship away, but if you're a Laker fan out there, nobody thinks that was some special championship. While I do agree, I don't think he's a top 10 Laker of all time, because there's multiple Lakers better than him. But there was a special championship, though, so he's kind of right and wrong here. But Ron Parker never says anything credible. Kawhi Leonard is on the verge of returning, per a Andrew Grieve. Some good news there for Clipper fans, Kawhi Leonard is on the verge of returning. The New York Knicks are among the teams with an interest in Jay Crowder. So there's, a, there's another team I was talking about, the Knicks. They're interested, possibly, in Jay Crowder. The Phoenix Suns, uh, yesterday, were close to finalizing a three-team trade involving Jay Crowder, per Jake L. Fisher. So I'm wondering who these three teams were. I'm wondering who these three teams were. The Phoenix Suns were... Er, or Clay Thompson shooting over the last 10 games have been bad. 6 of 16, 3 of 9 from 3, or 6 of 17, 3 of 9 from 3, 6 of 16, 5 of 13 from 3, 3 of 13, 2 of 7 from 3, 6 of 18, 3 of 10 from 3, 10 of 24, 7 of 15 from 3, that was a good game there. 7 of 19, 4 of 12 from 3, 5 of 14, 1 of 7 from 3, 6 of 19, 5 of 14 from 3, 1 of 8 from the field, 0 of 5 from 3, and 3 of 10, 2 of 7 from 3. He's just taking too many bad shots, man. I mean... I mean, he's just shooting too many threes. I mean, it's just the truth. Uh, the Chicago Bulls are 1-5 in their last six games, so they're not playing any good. There's just so many teams not playing well this year, but I think the Bulls and the Warriors, they'll pick it up. Um, Eight-game winning streak for Joe Mazzola's Boston Celtics. Clearly didn't need uh, Ime Udoka. SGA's last 10 games, 42-6-7, 37-4-8, 37-5-8, 23-4. His worst game, probably, along with the 18-1-3 game. But he put up 39-4-4, 33-7-5. 37, 4, and 3, 34, 4, and 6, and 36, and 9. Just an absolute superstar. One of the most underrated players in the league, and definitely should be in MVP considerations. Multiple 30 point games, and then a 40 point game. So he's just an absolute superstar. Mike Woodson says he'd sign Carmelo Anthony, right, Carmelo Anthony right now if he were still coaching the NBA. I, think, I still think he can get you 15 to 20 points a night. But, would he, but I don't think he would provide defense or. Anything like that. Doc Rivers revealed his daughter tried to stop him from trading Seth Curry to Brooklyn. I don't know what I mean. Except Seth Curry really good three point shooters went just like his brother, so I don't know why you'd want to trade him. Kyle Kyrie Irving is entering the final stages for reinstatement per, per ESPN's at Woj. So it so it looks like Kyrie Irving's about to come back soon. Um so some good news there. Western Conference executive praises Rob Palenka. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to say about Palenka, he's being smart. He's taking his time. Uh, it sounds like Rob Palenka is talking about Rob Palenka. I don't know how you could. Say. <laughs> That's probably the anonymous, anonymous executive in question. Updated rookie ladder. Benedict Matherin's now at one, or still at one. They moved Paul down to three, Ivy up to two, so that's that big rookie ladder. Celtics will have zero interest in Gerald Brown for Kevin Durant's swap, which Kevin Durant's been playing really well so far these last few games, so I don't know, but I feel like it might ruin the team's chemistry. So, yeah. That's all I'm saying for this NBA video, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff I want to talk about, so until next time, I want. Peace.